Hi guys, how are you doing? Okay, so I thought I'd show you what I've been up to lately um, and also my eBay stuff's up as well for my Black Templars uh, under Sell Everything 10. Uh, if you have a look at that, uh, there's some bits and pieces up there. So what have we got here? Well, I've got basically bases that I've been making. And I wanted to make bases, certainly something different from what I've normally been doing uh, for obviously my four-door Terminators. And uh, also I wanted to make some bases for my custodians as well uh, because I've been stripping them off their bases because I want something a little bit special uh, for them as well. So I'm gonna be doing black and white tiling uh, on the other bases that I'm going to be making. I'm thinking about casting some up, making some case, um, some bases, but obviously I can't use the GW uh, ones, so I'm going to be making my own uh, and uh, tooling those. Anyway, so that's just a thought in the future, food for thought. Anyway, so I, show, I thought I'd show you these ones. So I made a Dreadnought base, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I mean, this is just lightly weathered. Uh, it's a lovely effect, and it's easy to make as well. These are made out of plastic card, and PVA and sand. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to show you how to do some of these later. As you can see there, again, you get a really lovely effect. Uh, and it's nice and simple to do as well. And you can get some really lovely sort of uh, tiling on the floor sort of thing laid out. Um, knackered and worn, nice street effect sort of thing. I was actually tempted to paint some gold flecks into it, but I thought these as a, as just a tester would be really cool. I mean, I love this one. This one's really come out well. It's just a nice focus on that. Okay, so it's quite simple. So I'm gonna clear this away and I'll come back to you in the Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need one plastic base and you're gonna need some plastic card, which you've cut into a circle shape. Now, the best way to do that is to place your uh, um, base face down and then draw around it and then cut it out it doesn't have to be perfect but it gives you the basic shape then what you need to do is you need to cut your craft knife and be careful with this so you don't slice your fingers off is cut a line that way cut a line whoops uh, down this way so you nearly cut my finger off so be careful and cut a line down and another line down that way okay. doesn't matter if it's not perfect because we want it a little bit skew with. Okay, so just remember when you're breaking these apart, where they go. Okay, so that's nice and simple. Then I'm going to take my super glue and I'm going to start in the middle first and I'm just going to lay out a line like that. And I'm going to take this flagstone or this bit of plastic and I'm going to lay it down on there. I'm going to take this one which is the bottom piece and I'm going to overlap it so that's stuck on there and I want to leave a little bit of a gap you can vary the size of the gap as well that's not a problem that goes on there like so nice and simple okay so we're going to do the same here just lay a bit of super glue on there we're gonna put our first piece just, oh, so it's not stuck to your fingers, so be careful of that. This way it all goes hobbly wrong and on camera as well. Okay, first piece goes there. Pretty a little bit too much super glue on that side, but what can you do? I'm using the fast pourer. And that piece goes there like that. This piece goes on there. Okay, next. So break these pieces up. Just run some super glue over it. And what we do is that piece on there doesn't matter if it's slightly out I mean don't forget it's been a war tiles gonna be broken things aren't always gonna be how they should be and then we'll stick this last final piece at the bottom just there now 
There we go, so take your activator, spray it. If you've got an activator or not, leave it to dry. And while that's drying, I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so here we are. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our craft knife and we're gonna shave off little pieces. Remember to cut away from you where you can. And what we're trying to do is, is just damage the um, plastic card. So it looks like uh, we've got basically sort of erratic, um, uh, what do you call it, flagstones. I may even take that piece off actually because when we come to uh, adding uh, the sand on that gives us a bit more air, area to play on. Okay, so we'll just cut this down here. And another way is to dig your blade in and then just turn the piece around for your fingers all the time. What we do is I guess this dips. Now you're not going to properly see this until we've uh, painted it. This gives you a lovely effect. And keep going. What you want to do is you want to try and take away a corner here and there, like that. And just siphon that bit down. Now I did all those bases. It took me about a day um, to sand them up and, and put them on and put a base coat on. Um, and I did the large terminator bases and also the dreadnought base. So. So it didn't take too long. Okay, we just gotta. Oh, that bit's come off. In fact, that's probably better for us. Let's lose that piece altogether. And then we'll just. And the same there. These would make great cobbled streets as well. Turn your base around again. Straight away, got some nice dips. Let's see if we can just get that to focus. There you go. So that actually looks quite lovely. Right now, here comes a tough bit. So you need to take your uh, paintbrush. You need some PVA glue. Let's just get that sorted out. I'm just using the GW PVA glue at the moment because uh, I've run out of the other stuff. And we'll just squeeze that out. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll take this. Paint it on. Let's get it in the in the gaps. And the same on the other side. And the same there. Okay. And the great stuff about this is once we put our sand on, we can actually shift this around. So I'm just using um, sand that I've got. Basically, I'll just take this off. You can use any old sand. Just using sand that I bought in a pet shop. There we go. Just put that there. Need a cotton bud. And what we can do is we can just push that down where we want it. So 
See, and it's that simple. And what you want to do is grab your uh, your base there. Let's just focus in on that. Okay, just wipe away the edges. Just clean that up. There we go. All done. Now you can build up the layers of sand, which I always think is a good idea. So we'll just grab the paint. Just build that up like so. Adding a bit more of the, the glue. And we'll just take that away for a second so I can put some uh, sand on it. There we go. Done. And it is, it's literally, it is as easy as that. Let's just get this away. It is as easy as that. And I managed to create all those bases. Now you can use a number of colours, like you said. Like I said earlier, you can do it in different ways. You can use black and white tiling. You can put whatever you want. You can even uh, cast, like uh, once it's all blued down, you can actually cut a pattern into it as well. So it's got some sort of uh, design in there. Um, or you can paint the pattern on yourself. But it is that easy. All you need is a bit of plastic card, um, some PVA, some sand, and voila, done. Okay, guys, so look, I'm going to put a link to the eBay sales that I'm doing on this video uh, for my Black Templar stuff. There's no troops up there, it's just vehicles and a, and a dreadnought at the moment. And then I'll work to units of troops later because uh, there's a lot of photograph. Anyway, guys, you take care.